Buddy, how are we doing today? I got my coffee here again. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to be going over Bitbucket today. If you're not familiar with Bitbucket, um, if you've watched the other tutorials on GitHub or even Git, um, you should have a pretty good control or understanding. But basically, Bitbucket is just a version control software. Um, it's open source, and you're going to find that it is becoming more and more popular. Although GitHub is kind of the standard You'd be surprised that Bitbucket is actually, you're going to start to find it in more companies, more corporations, uh, because the company that makes it also makes a lot of other software that's pretty popular um, for programmers. So Bitbucket, again, is basically just another version control outlet such as GitHub, where programmers are able to work in different teams in different locations and all push their code collaboratively up to the repo. So I'm just going to show you, this is as you kind of go to a bitbucket.org, um, you'll just kind of see, you know, uh, create, start account and get started. And you're able to actually create this. It's all open source, so you'll have no problem um, getting in. So let's go over here to one that's actually already set up. So as you can see here, I'll go to the log. This is where you log into the dashboard. And basically, I only have one project right here as under our works. Um, this is the view one, which I've been using throughout the demos. And then these other tabs here, you have your repository, your projects, your pull request, which you should be familiar. That's a git command um, and a few other little things that you might be needing. So basically, under our repositories, we have this view project, which we've used before. Once we go into the project that we're looking for, there's a few things that Bitbucket gets our uh, provides us that we're able to use to then get a copy of the website. So first thing is git clone. If you're familiar with git camp commands, this is going to grab all these files and bring them into your local setting. Um, and that's the first thing you're really going to do. And that's going to um, connect you to the repository. So your local hard drive now is working with the Bitbucket repository. And I'm not going to go too much into the technicalities of all this. We're going to go, you can check that out in the git. Um, but this is basically how Bitbucket works, and it's very similar to the uh, GitHub outlet. So as you can see, we have everything here. You can do your pull requests. You can do your branches. You're able to download projects. Now, if you're not familiar, I would just play a little bit with this because it's pretty straightforward. You're going to take this command, bring it over to your, oh, I actually already brought it open, but you'll go to git clone. So we want to clone it into this repository and it already exists because actually I already have it created right here. So it's connected here. We go to git config and basically that's going to then configure this local file with this repository. So guys, I'm not going to go too much more into Bitbucket. It's pretty standard if you've used GitHub. It's another version control repo that uh, is open source. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment, leave a message. We'll be happy to answer them. Otherwise, give a like, give a subscribe. That stuff helps. And this was the last version control, so stay tuned. We'll be going into some new topics. Uh, if you Again, if you guys need anything, let us know. And we hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you soon. Take care. Peace.